So this right here is being recorded the night after all the events of this vlog takes place. So the backstory of this video is that my mom had asked me what I wanted to do for my birthday this year. And I really, really wanted to watch this Michigan team play for basketball. You know, national championship aspirations. Although the livers news that, you know, happened after this game, you know, could crush it. But we're going to see here and... You know, I'll just say the events, but I wanted to see this Michigan team play. And, you know, in order to watch this Michigan team play, you know, we got the tickets to see Michigan. They're going to play Maryland in the Big Ten tournament. And uh, along with that, you got Purdue. They play Ohio State. So I get to watch both games. It was really cool, really fun. And here's my vlog. <laughs> So for over an hour, we drove down to Indianapolis. You know, we got breakfast first from good old McDonald's. And because, you know, every trip you need to have McDonald's for your breakfast. So we went down there and we arrived in Indy. Coolers, coolers, video recorders, large purses, bags. For Michigan's previous game, Eli Brooks, our starting guard, a senior, he twisted his ankle on a very awkward fall, and there were a lot of doubts that he'd be able to play, so I say this. Eli Brooks looked pretty good in warm-ups. So after Michigan and Maryland go to the locker rooms for the final times for, you know, the coaches talks, you know, the preparations, you know, they're all complete. They're almost ready to go. They come out of the locker room and I thought this was pretty cool. I'm so glad I got that on camera because you could tell Coach Howard was ready for a fight.
so from here on out, the seats in the video change a little bit, but that's only because we were one section off. So, mistake on our part, but it, here's how it goes the rest of the way. So I'm not recording much of the game because I'm just locked in because I am a Michigan fan itself as you cannot tell by the shirt. Now, most people know about what happened, you know, with, you know, there was an incident with Jawan Howard and Mark Turgeon yelling at each other. Jawan had to be held back after Mark Turgeon charged him, you know, you know, whatever it was. Yeah, you, you can look into it. Apparently... You know, Jawan Howard was outside of the box. You know, something as minor as how you drive the car. You know, it's supposed to be like this, but some people can do like this or this or you know, with one hand. You know, you don't see accidents very much. So, you know, it's it's just that minor. And Turgeon was complaining about it. So then Howard just turns is like, really, this is what we're doing today. And Turgeon just throws a, a fit about it. Like, don't ever talk to me. So like. And as he charged him, Jawan Howard just went into defense mode, and whatever words were exchanged were exchanged, so, I don't know. But, I, if you want to learn more about what I was thinking during that time, you know, what I was doing, why I couldn't catch the whole thing on camera, just check out Take a Guess, you know, my manga rankings, and after that, me and my buddy Broku started doing a post-series podcast, so... I'll go into more detail about it in the next podcast episode, and I'll do more details about the game, so check out Take a Guess, and if you don't want to miss that, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notices if you want to know what ended up happening inside my mind, what I was doing at the time, because I do explain that. So, this is the footage I had from after the fight. It wasn't really a fight, but fight. <laughs> So during the game, my grandpa was texting me since I was there. He also loves Michigan too. So he texted me and he said that Franz Wagner's parents were there. And I was like, I, I where, where are they? Can, can I see him? So I looked on my phone and on YouTube, or not YouTube, it was Hulu. And I was able to, since I record the game, I was able to look at it and... I was able to see, you know, what they looked like. So I searched for them in the stands, and it took like 10 seconds to find Franz Wagner's parents. So I was nervous. I thought I was afraid they'd come by as a little rude, but I, uh, I went to go search and see if I could meet Franz Wagner's parents. Oh. Where do I go? Trying to meet Franz Wagner's parents. So because Franz Wagner's parents sat next to the aisle, I was able to find just the section that they sat at. And I was pretty nervous because out of nowhere, some dude asking, are you Franz's parents? Like, that's... I, I was scared they'd find that a little creepy. You know, how did they know that? But I explained th th what had happened, um... 
so like I, I went to uh, down the aisle I I just asked if they were his parents and th they confirmed it and like man those were some of the nicest people I have ever met um, I had no words and like I didn't want to bother them so I was there for not even two minutes and like I asked if we could take a picture and like they were more than fine with that they were so nice especially his mom really and I might have been the she might have been the tallest woman I've ever seen because she was uh about as tall as I am and I'm six five so that's where he and his brother Mo they well, that's where they got their height from I believe so Oh, that was so awesome. You know, such nice people. And as expected, they have a German accent. Yeah, help me get over fears of meeting famous people or parents of famous people because just how polite they were. I asked for permission to get a picture with the Wagner parents. So I did not ask. I did not mention this YouTube channel. So I'm not going to share the picture with them because... I'm not so sure if they would be okay with that. I'm sure they would because, you know, they have a son in the NBA and a son who's an NBA draft prospect. So still, I, I want to be safe. I want to respect their privacy. But in the end, I I it was a blast. It was a pleasure and honor to meet them. But after that, just had to prepare for the second game since it was a doubleheader. <laughs> I tried to get this video to be horizontal, but uh, I would delete it, but I found it was just too fun to not add in, so the passion for Purdue fans since Purdue, it's in Indiana, this tournament, it's in Indiana, so... When watching that clip, I found it pretty funny that I had to sit behind two Ohio State fans and you can just tell they're like, this is a fucking road game, basically. If you remember just a couple minutes ago, I showed that Ohio State was up by 18 at halftime. Purdue's down by 6 right now. This could be good. <laughs> Yeah. 
as you're about to see right in front of us, the two Ohio State fans, I don't know if they just get better looks, but, or whatever, but they just leave. So much noise with these free throws. Painter, what you calling up? Purdue came back from down 18 at halftime. 18 points. But would the comeback last, though? Chris Holtman had other things in mind. Due to being 6'5 and sitting in those uncomfortable seats for about 5 hours, my legs were, uh, yeah, uh, they, they didn't cooperate that much. So, I didn't, just didn't work on this video until now, the next day, so. And I enjoyed it, subscribe. Life's in the game, 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 life's in